Because the light even more people when they go, well, the light hasn't got power. I was going to leave it like that. Just walk away. <laughs> and we're done. It's perfect the way it is. <laughs> Everyone says, going, okay, 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 I get it. You you want you to squeeze the grind, but you, the, the, the unpowered light bulb there is just... <laughs> yeah, right. But even better, you up on the map every time you put a map up. <laughs> yeah, that is... yeah, the unpowered thing is just completely uncalled for. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I don't think the furnace is saying, don't need them anymore. What time are you looking on these? What's what? What time are you looking on these? Recording? Well, the episodes. Uh, we are at 30 minutes right now. Okay. Alright, so we have the two Did you get the turret off mission up? Uh, that was my job. You said you were doing it, so I'm not sure if you can go around to doing it. If not, I can do it now. Well, turret automation in here. I Oh well, goodness, if we can make it here, let's use the same resources that... Uh, yeah, we just need use. to upgrade the uh, thing to blue. Yeah. Which I keep clicking on the actual assembler rather than the crafting menu. Nice. So you, know, you can just make cogs in, because you need to make them again. What was the thing I wanted to make that had a requirement of... Oh, they're hitting the bottom again. And now they're damaging the bottom. Stop damaging my turrets! Right, repair packs. I'm like, what did I want to create that required the circuits? <laughs> Let's keep it down to one stack of uh, very large turret guns, shall we? And we need a long arm insert there just to grab the copper. There we go. You know what? Let's speed this guy up. Bing, bing. Perfect. We now want to make turrets. When we get some turrets, we're going to need some here where I'm sort of because that's where they got through last time. Alright. Ah! I've actually made one already. Yoink! Let's put it up here. We need to be if we need it. Ding. And. Ding. And give me some ammo. And give you some ammo. There we go. Two hundred shells. <laughs> two stacks. We now have repair packs. <clears throat> okay, that's useful. Is that restricted? What the uh, mines? Okay, it is. Should be. <laughs> I just have to do two <laughs> stacks worth because I've used a lot of mines. Yeah. It usually isn't enough for adding more to a location. Yeah, so you need to, basically you need your convey belts uncapped because you need that many of them. <clears throat> you need your mines semi capped and your gun turrets really capped. <laughs> Things that you don't need many of them to stack quite nicely, basically. Yeah. So it's fun when the thing that you actually really need a lot of has a very low cap to stack amount. <laughs> Ooh, these guys are out of ammo. I'm really fast up. Grab them. Ooh, research is up. Yeah, I just nice. finished researching um, laser turrets in my other map, my mega world, my mega base map. Yeah, actually, the only factorial save I've got running right now is this one. Really? At the moment, yes. Yeah. Which is unusual because I usually have a, uh, have a personal one or another series running. Yeah. But uh, I've been doing a lot of other. So I'm miscellaneous stuff recently, on the content wise. I've actually seen a few of the videos, like your uh, the, the Trade Winds one. Yeah, Winds of Trade. It's a pretty little game, actually. It's definitely a game I would love to play, but uh, I kind of ran my, uh, my game budget already, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So I need... Oh, I'm holding a bunch of copper. Why am I holding a bunch of copper over? Have you tried the shotgun since the update? No, I have not tried it. Do I have not no try idea. shotguns. <laughs> Are they bad? Bypass, bypass the shotgun, get to the combat shotgun. Okay. The shotgun itself is... It has very little power and a very slow reload rate. That It makes it virtually useless. But the combat shotgun fire rate makes it worth, makes it usable. Okay. Duly noted. 
Yeah, I didn't really like the shotgun in the other one anyway. I like the combat shotgun because it was powerful, especially once you got the armor shells, some piecing shells. Oh, yeah. But before then, it wasn't really worth it. Now the, it's still it's good against the uh, the bigger fighters and the bases, but it's not so good against uh, the normal fighters because there's so many of them when you're fighting them. You want something like a machine gun at that point. Gotcha. Um, oh, I need some more repair packs. Got an iron off the belt. We're sort of some machine mine. What's that power situation? We did that for a while. Ooh, yeah, with that third running low. Hit. Okay, I'm gonna craft some of them and hit out there and upgrade that. Ooh, they are getting hit pretty hard down there. There's no bueno. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna need some stun for boilers, and luckily someone just brought some stun up for us. There we go. Give me some boilers. Uh, That's way too many boilers, but okay. Right? Yes, yeah, so down the bottom near the bullets. Gotcha, I'm gonna grab some. Of these guys. Pipe, 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 pipes. Okay, I've lost the pipes. And what else do I need? There they are. Uh, line, yeah. steel. Steel, steel, steel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, hopefully this will be sufficient. I'm heading over to upgrade we'll our power system. I've, um, we just finished Benji so we can get it to uh, cars now. Well, should we not close? We get close to cars, so not we can actually get cars. Let's get some logistics yes. 2 up running, faster convey belts, better undergrounds. <clears throat> We're researching things faster than we can build metal components for them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I might just I'm put sorry. a, once you get some convey belts, just run a great convey belt over to the power grid so you can actually run it faster than the ground. <laughs> Use like a, like a little escalator thing. <laughs> I still crafting them. Ah, crafting takes so long. Right, crafted the things you have done. Steam engines. Gears. Dang it. I have an idea. Let's switch this. Shall we? Well, I'm about to cut it off. I am about to remove a power cable that goes to nothing. Okay, then that sounds like a good plan. Bit it off power for a second. Yep. Broke it. It's all your fault. Uh, it's not my fault, everything broke. <laughs> I didn't just take down the only power cable in the area. <laughs> you can't prove it. There's like a video evidence or anything. <laughs> <laughs> not there's video evidence or anything. <laughs> I like the fact you can put steam into um, from the from the boilers into uh, into tanks and back and keep it as a reserve. That's yeah, cool. I like how interesting. Well, a little game breaking in a sense. Well, yeah, if you have enough of them, then definitely is uh, logic breaking at least. Yeah, because like steam does not. Just keep its temperature because it just decides to keep its temperature. That's not how that works. <laughs> it's like we're just sticking a tank and we use it later. That's not how steam works. It'd be really useful if it was how steam worked because that really helped engineers out a lot. Yeah, right. <laughs> the steel just it kept its form. We're just sticking a tank over there and we'll, we'll use it later. <laughs> There we go. Power grid has been upgraded. Almost doubled in size, actually. Correction, doubled in size. I don't have anything. I have another boiler, so it seems like a waste to leave a boiler. So. I will need one of them. And. There you are. You go there, you go there. Power cable. And then. 
is really finagling. <laughs> <laughs> you can see this is like really finagling here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boilers are up. The question is, is the water supply up? I mm. um, can't remember what the ratio is for the pump now. I, could, I remember it, I did it before as well. Isn't it, uh, what, 1 3 10? Or 1 3 20? Something like that? Something like that. Do we already have a setup ready on the side here? Well, it's two It's two steam engines to one boiler. Yeah. Approximately. I mean, it only really adds out if you have a lot of boilers and you can just like bump. It's like 2.1 mm -hmm. steam engines to a boiler. <clears throat> um, but how many steam engines to a water pump is it? I can't remember. Although we right now we're not maxing out the ping, but we're not pumping all the steam either, so it's okay for now. Was but when it's full power, those was it ones are into it. Twenty, maybe. I think it is one ten twenty. So we're just slightly over right now. Okay. And why are you making call? Oh, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure if you heard that, but my roommate seems to be moving around stuff. Yeah, I heard a noise, I couldn't tell what it was. Yeah. I apologize, viewers and so on and so forth, about that. A little I can control. I have to meet little people. Okay, if you if you start running too much more power, we're going to need to upgrade those uh, mines as well. All right. We got some more ammo in it. Just sending a stone down both sides of the conveyor right now, so we can double its throughput. Yeah, might be. I'm beginning the process to cut off the uh, the lower half of the base and get ready to destroy the bases up north. Yeah, well, we have a uh, stone coming up. If we drop some of that stone into a furnace, we can get brick and make and start making uh, walls. walls. Yeah, get some brick. I, yeah, I will grab. A... I'm just gonna make a bunch of brick. I'm looking at the walls right now. Uh, There's 200 in the chest over here where I'm stood right now. It's been used to making furnaces, so it's uh, just I'm not, I'm not gonna make a full wall. I just need enough wall to uh, block off the top, which I have. Yes, I'm saying. There. There's 200 bricks in here. They were being used to make the uh, the, the actual furnaces, because they yeah. need stone brick. Right. Basically, it look really nice with the lights on. They really do glow nicely. Right, I'm gonna go see if I can take out some bases. The one I'm gonna have trouble with is the big one up north. Well, what we can do is when you're ready, we can grab a handful of turrets, go up there, and uh, attack it that way. But I need to drop some more of mines course, on this iron patch so we are now running low on iron. I'm attempting to attack a base I can barely see. Yeah, it's probably gonna need to wait till daytime to attack a base. <laughs> uh, mines. Uh, yeah, wait. Oh, logistics too. Nice. Hey. Which actually means we can do the next line for the belt and stuff. Yep, because it's, it's all ready to run. Where? Oh. Where you are? Well, where you were? They're not happy about that location. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, I don't want a wall here. <laughs> Little walls. Where's me underground? So underground. Oh, 
down there, down there. <coughs> and then, yes. I'll get you to it in a moment. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get it, do it now. Do it properly. Right, so you can move there. You need to come down one. Cool. So I made a few pill boxes over here. Ah! Sorry, I didn't just go for a, a, a build. That base is right there. Just sucking up. Wow, there's a lot of bases down in the southeast. They're spreading like crazy. <laughs> I want to clear all the ones that are up north so that we can focus more on the ones that are a more immediate threat. Yeah. Take out some low hanging fruit kind of thing. Oh, that's a worm right there. I can grab a blueprint because if I don't ask you, oh. There. Hey. Come look at this. Like, go on the map and see what I see. On the map, where you are now? Mm hmm. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you up there? Okay, yeah. There's a small worm in the middle of the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it like I, I have to assume there's like a single piece of dirt there or something? <laughs> well, there's a little piece of dirt just above it as well. So yeah, probably. <laughs> it would have been interesting if there'd been a uh, a, a single bite worm. just a little bite just on the little island there. <laughs> that would have been interesting as well. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to hit one of these bases soon and get rid of them because they are starting to damage to us way too often. I was getting a blue pin, I completely forgot. Okay, and back up. Blueprint out of the book. Right, so that. Yeah, oh, that might be the case. Unfortunately, our, our iron mine is too close to our iron smelter to get a proper balance in place. Do you need that round? No, I think it's. The, it, we'd have to move the entire smelter up or the entire iron mine down, which we can't move the mine because they all say. Yeah. Uh, maybe a less than optimal, but as close as possible, will do. I'm trying to see if I can get in there without uh, too much. Move the, move the, I might have to move the call line, but that's not hard to move, so. But I'll just temporarily put it up now, so I've got room to play with. Alright. Well, one of so these bases already had a medium worm in it, but nothing I can handle. It's this big base up here that I'm worried about. Look through all these trees. I've been playing two different games that have like pollution as a main the factor of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna get a small section here, safety purposes. Yeah. I can't see very well. It's the night again. So, little flashings of uh, <laughs> dead biters is kind of interesting. Of <laughs> 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 the being shot. <laughs> Was being shot with tracer rounds. <laughs> Automation. <laughs> Auto automobilism. Excellent. We will have vehicles once again. Okay. Right. Actually, what I can do is. 
Oh, no, no. Take that, thank you. Yep, that's gonna be a doozy. That's the pollution up here, though. They are not currently being hit by the pollution. Of all the trees. It's good. But it won't be long until they start attacking us. I'm just trying to fit it in without having to read down because we've got to the base at this point where we are right now. Gotcha. It's uh, <laughs> a little bit uh, complicated. But when we, later on, we've got other things we can do. We, we can definitely re move this uh, smelt up right. Another base down. We should be connected. I mean, I understand why they got rid of the alien artifacts, but I think rather than like completely removing them, they could have done something with them. Like have, uh, yeah, I kind of like the, the artifacts themselves. I wanted them to be used for something. Something like along the lines of you can use them for the you know, alien, still keep with the alien research, but have it where it's like what you're researching is easier ways to kill them. <laughs> Yeah, the many thing you could have used it for, it didn't have to be research related, it could be for part of a crafting thing and make it so you could farm them so something could be automated. Because mm -hmm. the big thing people complained about was that they weren't, uh, you couldn't automate the process. Well, yeah. I thought there was like but a thousand like, miles to do so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying, they could have you know, put farming in basically. But even with, even without that, if they had it where only certain research, like, you know, dam like the damage increase research, like that's you know, you're out killing them if you really want to get more damage anyway, right? <laughs> and have it where it wasn't just the bases that dropped it, but also the the biters themselves. Yeah. So then when they attack, that's your farming. <laughs> uh, splitter. Red belt. Red underground. Back here, a couple of notches. Just give us a play room with that. Aha! Just realized I can do something that I wasn't thinking about. <coughs> oh. Well, we've got red uh, belts now. The underground belts can go further. Oh, the yes. biggest problem was I can't get a belt far enough across. <laughs> that is a, a new addition to Victoria. Mm. A useful one. A very nice one. I very, very much, much appreciate that one. Go is the question. That might just be far enough. Um, we're chewing through all of our iron. What do you mean, the uh, ore or the? Yeah, it's supposed to power cables down that'll solve the problem. You said this one is not split correctly. Here we go, and then boop, a boop, a boop, and then one power cable short. Mm. I, I still insist that Factorio Dev must have put in a system to make sure it's always one shot. There's no way that's enough, enough things. 
I'm about to try and squeeze the bouncer in, it's really tight. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm about to lower it down by one power pole out, actually. Because I need to get coal in here somehow. Uh Oh, we'll do this. I think we're coming from the side, but maybe the easiest option, but... Let's see how uh, this... Not the side, but putting it on the ground here and going through it. Because there's not enough room to do it the way. Uh, but if we get the chance to move it in the future, we can get this entire thing moved up a little bit, make life a bit easier, but it's a hell of a move right now. There's a splitter in there. I just want to get underground here, just to get the uh, bar through. Yeah. There just wasn't enough room to get a turn in there. Let's do that. <clears throat> that works. Yeah. And then we just got to get this one underground, just here, which I need to move these two. Which now I have room for, so not a problem. Uh, what was I doing with this one? I was moving you down. These two convey belts are the down one. So you come from there. You come from there. And then that bottom one just moves along a bit more. And then that is entirely done with the balancer. Thank you. There we go. And we are now fully balanced with a little wiggly bit on the end, which is just where my people. <laughs> <laughs> and just just where my people, and I'll put a light bulb there. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's unpowered. <laughs> I love how we're trolls, but not to people who are in the game, to everyone who's watching. <laughs> oh. uh. I, uh, I keep forgetting to put light bulbs in the middle of these ones, in all the places, without the uh, larger power poles. <laughs> what are you going in oh, some places? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Right here, right? That should be a lot more metal mm -hmm. iron plates going through the system now. There we go, time it up. More or less. Excellent. Enough to be seen. Yeah, we should put a light bulb way. next to the near the light bulb so it's not lit, just so we can have that little pip and people can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Cruel and unusual punishment for viewers. <laughs> okay, what are we at now? We've got the more metal moving through, we've got copper lines backing up all the way, which is great. The circuits are backed up nicely for the moment. So, what do we need to automate next so we can get moving? Well, I think it would be a good idea to start up being over research, wouldn't it? What's the uh, recipe for military research? Gun turrets, grenades, and amp piece and rounds. Yeah. Pretty much everything on the wrong side of the base that we got off mid already. <laughs> <laughs> everything on the right hand side of the base we need on the left hand side now. <laughs> I would upgrade a lot of our things of steel. Yeah, yeah, I already did a few, but need more doing. We still need more. We need more iron. <laughs> We're not making any more uh, furnaces because we're stone up here. Oh, something else we haven't. I don't think we put points into. <clears throat> yeah, we should do. Yeah, go to plastics, then electronics too, and then we can do mining productivity. Excellent. That'll help a lot. Bit of mining. I don't think we do. Patches last longer. Yeah, the first three levels of mining productivity don't require anything but the first two science. And then after like, okay. the third, it requires more. Okay, I'm going to bring the stone line across here, where I'm running now. Yeah, then it requires... Four to seven requires level three, and then... Eight to eleven requires... The fourth one? Is that what it is? Productivity science. And then high-tech oh, science is beyond that. What do I need to make more of that? Plates. Going. Wrong button. Okay. Mm -hmm. To realize we have this, uh, this uh, <clears throat> assembler just making cogs and not going anywhere, they're just sat in a chest. Still. Should we shift this all up by one? Uh, I don't think we need to do it. This line should have been the stone across to where the, uh, well, where the wall machines will be and where the uh, steel furnaces are. Okay. So it's just being, it's just being stone across into the main side. 
and I'm just crafting the uh, undergrounds to get these across here. And that's it. So it's not going to go up on the bus, it's just stone coming across to get to the right side of the bit where I need to be. Okay. Now. Now about the middle line. I've been doing that a lot, actually. I didn't realize that. <laughs> What's that? You just like make belts go right across the middle of the line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. I feel like I haven't been doing much, and we're kind of at the 60-minute mark. Uh, yeah, we are. We are indeed. Alrighty. What Do you want to put yourself next? a cup for safety, or...? Yeah. Hello everyone, uh, this is Shane, part of the Long Drive team, signing out with a good friend, Peter Taylor. See you all later, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, hit the like button below. If you'd like to see more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to get notifications, make sure to hit that bell. You can also check out our website for more information on different games. If you would like to support us, check out our Patreon page for more information on how to do so.